much. Yeah. All right, you know damn well. All right, we appreciate it. It's not the easiest thing coming out here. It's not supposed to be, okay? But we like to challenge you in all different ways. All right, I know that somebody's don't know the last night means a lot. I know it's just little short things while the seniors getting up there, but to me that kind of kind of ends what it is that we do out here. All right. Uh, there's some things you know darn well, every single one of them, whether you had a good day or you don't think you had a good day. There's all things that we can get better at. The only thing I'm going to point out is we know in order for us to take that next step, okay, we got to play cleaner. But don't, let's don't forget what we did out here. All right? Yes, you worked your ass off, but we also figured out what we are talking about, about wearing the uniform, right? Wearing the uniform. It's not the, really the uniform. It's about wearing the uniform of being a team, the trust, respect, and love that you guys have built. All right? don't, don't take that for granted. Don't take that for granted. I appreciate what you guys have done. Every one of these coaches appreciate what you've done. I appreciate your attitude, especially those guys that had to live in the, the bunks and things. All right, you get to go back and sleep in your bed for the for a first time. Get some damn good sleep. All right, get a break to your coach. Yeah. Wrap it up. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, be smart. Take care of one another, man. Here we go. Hey, family, all three. One, two, three. Family. All right, how you gonna see y'all later? How's it feel knowing right. that this is your last time at I'm higher I'm never ground. coming back here. Uh, oh, I just want to go home. Go for it, boy. You did. Need help? I'm good. Come on, come on. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Cincinnati be the first quarterback G5 Desmond program Ritter to ever make the college football playoff. That part of the summer where you're kind of starting to get real anxious. This is to... the year of all years something crazy will happen. Cincinnati wins the American Championship. Landon, can you hear me? Are you on your way? Uh, yeah, I'm on my way home. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. I'm, I'm going to be home, like, really quick. Like, just pull up, grab some stuff, say hi, and go. What? Yeah, I'm going to be home, like, really quick. Don't say that to me. You are going to stay and talk to me for a little bit. Can you come out to the car and talk? Oh, my gosh, I'm hanging up when you come inside. Bye. Okay. Okay. So camp's over. <coughs> Coach is back. So I know, I mean, it's probably really not that much different for you guys schedule wise other than him just really coming home at night, right? It's not all that different other than him sleeping at home. So, and then the thought, like he's not here. Right. You know, it kind of stinks because he missed all of their first day of school. The big kids don't mind, but the youngers, they, um, yeah, it's a little bit harder on them. And they had some firsts today at their football games? Yes. They have put um, two of our boys at quarterback. So the little one of the little scored a touchdown today. And he was a little sad. Daddy missed it. But I got it on videotape, so he'll be just fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh Uh-oh. Come here. Tell me about your game. I got two tackles. A touchdown? Two good tackles. Two good tackles? On the goal line? Hmm? You ran the guy all the way down to the goal line? Yeah, yeah I saw it on video. No, so you played in kindergarten. No, no, we came over to tell us. You had to leave the scrimmage early? Well, I had to get to Luca's game. I missed half of her game because I had these guys' practice this morning. Then there's so scrimmage, the scrimmage early? all in different parts of town. And then Luca's volleyball game in Lebanon. But so. Luca won. Did you guys win? Yes, both games. No, he doesn't need a shower. When's Landon coming? Oh, said in a little bit. They're just getting back. Landon. Good to see you. Oh, I missed you. Landon, how much is your hair growing? Not very much. Not. Nah, it'll grow back. It's coming. Mm -hmm. That is a lot. Mommy always takes care of him. You always have something to eat. Yeah. Oh, He'll only stay if I have food. 
I didn't say only, I just asked if you. Of course, mom will feed you. Had food. All right, I guess I'll shower and put it in here. Come on. Don't, no, 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 no. No. Stop it. Do it, do it. Come on, Get him. 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 High school I took physics, so that's where I got the mechanical part aspect of it, and I really liked physics. Um, and then, yeah, when I came on my visit, I remember he, he named me up to you, he told me to reach out to you, because you were, I think, one of the only guys on the team doing engineering at the time. And, um, yeah, so I, it was a big part of my decision coming here. I knew they had a great engineering program, and um, it's, been, it's been great, I've enjoyed it. So Coach Fix should give me credit for getting you to come here. Yeah, Coach Fix. And then we had um, Statics with Professor Maines, who is yeah. a great professor. We have him from I have him from two of my classes this semester. Yep. Um, he's a great guy. He's a big football fan. Maybe he'll see this. Um, yeah, hopefully he sees it. We're, we're building a car, so yeah. we'll see. We'll see what type of experience we get there. Yeah. You're building a car? It's one, or... of my, one of my classes. Yeah. Professor Maines, we already <laughs> mentioned. Uh, He's like a celebrity. In he's this. he's <laughs> like a celebrity in, in engineering, but he he has an organization called Bearcat Motorsport. It's a Formula SAE car, and it kind of looks like a Mario Kart. Yeah, car. It's, it's like a, a it's a souped up go kart. Yeah, it's like a little. It's like a one one person rider. Probably weighs a couple hundred pounds, and uh, but it goes like fifty miles an hour and stuff. And they race it in in competitions, so kind of all the same mindset. Yeah. Same thing with football, you got a job to do on the field, you got to figure out a way to do it, then you got to do it just like engineering. Mm -hmm. Whereas you might be running around catching a touchdown, we're in there figuring out a formula, applying it to a problem, mm -hmm. and getting the solution. I'd say music is a inherent passion that's always been in my family. Uh, it's a release. Uh, it's a struggle in some cases. You know, it really just applies to most things that I do in life. So it's a big part of me. 
my parents were musicians uh, in their own respects. My grandparents were musicians as well. And uh, all four of my sisters played all types of instruments. Pretty much any instrument that I know how to play, they all played. I'd say my favorite type of music overall is jazz. My favorite jazz musician would be John Coltrane or Sarah Vahan. And uh, as far as you know, current music goes, I'd say Prince, well, current quote unquote, but Prince, uh, you know, he's a pop legend, rock legend, and he's just a you know maestro when it comes to anything musical. So, as far as similarities go, you know, just like with anything, you find something that you like or that you're maybe good at, and you do it, see how you do, and then you just either stick with it or don't stick with it. With me, I found out I could play football or that I was at least mildly athletic. So I played football and I've been playing it since, improving myself since, just as with music a little bit earlier, but I found out that I was a little musically inclined. So I decided to, you know, take that and run with it. Uh, as far as instruments go, it's kind of like a passing fancy with me. So right now, the thing that I'm trying to tackle is a harmonica. Do you ever get to pick the music for the locker room? <laughs> I try to warn people once they say, Jamal, get on the ox. I say, you probably don't want me on the ox. You probably hear something that you don't want to hear. Teammates and win a karaoke battle. I'd probably say Evan Prater. He'd probably bring the energy. Okay. Don't know how well he'll sing, but he'll definitely <laughs> bring the energy there. And sooner or later, your body will expire, or your body will, won't be able to do the things that it used to do. But as long as you take care of it, your voice you know, will be forever. That's one big thing with me is, you know, I always want to progress forward in something. The first game of the season, you get to run on the field and never in a uniform for the first time. What's that going to mean to you? Like I said, I mean, it's that full circle effect, you know, from being here as a freaking three-year-old, now coming up here as a, as a grown man, just, you know, running onto the stadium. I mean, it's, it's I, I can know, I can't really explain what it'll be like. <laughs> if there's any more questions, still for you. No, I can't top a slate like that. <laughs> How would you explain Clifton style to people that might not know what it is? Clifton style is, that's who we are. I mean, that is, things don't have to be pretty, they don't have to be new, don't have to be shiny, uh, could have a little rust to it. Hey, to explain Clifton style is to watch a game and to tell me what, you, what it is you think this team is all about. What we hope that it is, is it's a tough, gritty, uh, nasty kind of style of play Tough and nasty, you know, that's been something that Coach Brady and the coaches just have instilled in everybody, even since I've been here, being tough, resilient. It's that go-getter attitude, I'd say. The university's right here in the heart of Clifton. It's our edge, you know, we don't have a fancy indoor. We don't care. We don't have a brand new facility. We don't care. You know, Clifton style, it, that's our edge. That's, that's who we are deep down to our core. Everything just kind of came full circle for me, you know, going to preschool at Arlett, at the Arlett Center and my parents both went here and, you know, I went off to college and saw some things, saw some things, didn't see some things and just all in all just decided to come back home and, you know, finish out my journey here. I say the community, the area, the, the, the city that, that uh, we are in, uh, it gives and it fits all the things that are important to me, not just to build a program, but to be able to make my family really, really excited about where we are and what we're doing. Um, so all those things added together keeps the excitement for me, keeps the excitement for my family, allows me to understand and recognize that uh, every single day we've got areas to continue to grow to. And as long as you feel like you're growing and you can grow and there's another level to go to, for me, that's the motivation. Uh, so I don't know that I could say that there's any better place knowing where we are and where we can still go even after five years. Hey, going to punt. All right, back up, come down the end zone. All right, like pros today, man. All right, like pros. Let's go, let's, let's go, man. We got to watch today. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, good. Hey, tell them this is on. Tell them this is on. Hey, we got hit. We got hit. We got hit. Start on the left side. Start on the left side. Next week, we got hit.
Next week on the finale of Let It Fly. Bearcats obviously are going to be squarely in that conversation. Group of five teams threatening for the playoff.